2,400 people turned up in Skopje to see the game between Budućnost and MZT Skopje, who was, for the first time this season, able to count on Georgi Chekovski. Both had one win and one defeat prior to this encounter. The first basket was scored by an ex Budućnost player Nikola Otašević. He started up a 9-0 run for the home team as the visitors took more than five minutes to get going. William Coleman breaking the deadlock for Budućnost. MZT kept going. This is one of their three pointers scored by Kolda Gechowski, who was the game's MVP in the end with 27 points and 10 rebounds. When the American Kate Davis scored his first three of the night, the lead has grown to 15. Vladimir Mikhailovic scored his only points of the game at the end of the first quarter to make it 24 to 11. Then it was Chekovsky's turn to hit a three for the home team, and the gap was already 16 points. And it was time for a little one on one between Jalil Akindele and Todor Kechowski, with the former being slightly more successful, and Vodučnost had closed the gap to nine points. It was a former Kirka player, Uro Lucic, who scored and raised the home lead to 13. Then Sinovets, with three of his 11 points altogether, made sure that MZT was in front by 16 at the end of the first half. Lucic was playing well, raising the bar even higher at the start of the third quarter. But then Marko Popovic was putting together a good run for the visitors, which ended in only seven points deficit after his second three-pointer. Aleksa Popovic was the best scorer for Budućnost on the night with 14. He succeeded to again reduce the deficit to 7. But MZT had restored the lead to 12 points at the end of the third period. But Budućnost struck back in the last quarter as the Montenegro champion had closed the gap to just 2 points. But then Sinovets scored an all-important 3 for the home team and when Otasevic added his 3-pointer just 30 seconds before the end of the game, the second win of the season had been secured for MZT, as was the second defeat for Budućnost.